I have always loved Hong Kong culture. I find it just really unique. I think Hong Kong has a really special cultural identity. Growing up in this city, I was always really fascinated by the people that run very traditional, older industries. And when I was young, I used to see them everywhere. And as I got older, I would see less and less of these people. About five years ago, I realized how little of them remains. My name is Lindsay Barty, and I'm the author of Sunset Survivors, Meet the People, Keeping Hong Kong's Traditional Industries Alive. I grew up in Hong Kong. Um, I was actually born in London, but I moved back to Hong Kong when I was 20 days old because my parents also lived here when they were young. I uh, have always been fascinated by Hong Kong culture. Absolutely love it, and that's why I chose to write about this topic. But actually, I'm a part-time writer. I write in my spare time because my full-time job is a professional rugby player for the Hong Kong National Women's Sevens Team. I've been working on this book for about three years now, from coming up with the concept to doing all the interviews to editing, publishing, everything. I worked with a photographer, Gary Jones, so we would get together and I would do some research beforehand, find where these people were, approach them, try to convince them to let me do an interview with them, because often they're really busy or they're just getting along with their own thing, they don't really want to spend time, but most of them was, was so lovely and so willing to help me. I speak Cantonese like okay. <laughs> It's not perfect, but I can do interviews and stuff like that. But also, one of my rugby teammates would often come with me just to help me with some of the language stuff and help me translate some things. And sometimes we'd just be walking home from the interview and we'd see somebody else down an alleyway, maybe running another industry, and immediately we'd have to just run over to them and ask them if we can do another interview because often you see them one time and then you will never be able to find them again. There's a lot of different mediums we could portray this subject through and I think there's already quite a lot of YouTube videos and uh, online articles and but I wanted to produce something that is kind of also old school in the sense of print media is perhaps you could say that's dying too so it would make sense to put something in words and put it on paper these people have stood the test of time and have battled the odds, battled the high rent, battled the you know, changing of technology and modernization of Hong Kong, and they've really stood out, and they're the last remaining people that run these industries, so they've got to have done something well, and they've got to have a passion for their industry to, to last this long. And that's the, the angle I wanted to look at. I think I would like readers to just see the people in the book and appreciate these traditional industries a little bit more and I think a lot of people will walk around Hong Kong or whatever city or country they're in and perhaps not notice a lot of these people and all I wanted to do was sort of bring the attention to those people and make people realize that this is a part of history and a part of cultural identity. I think people reading this book in Hong Kong it could also act as kind of like a tour guide you know not your average tour guide there's a lot of generic things that you do as a tourist in Hong Kong, but this could be like the alternative tourist guide. Maybe just pay them a bit of attention because one day they'll be gone and that part of Hong Kong's identity will be lost. So it's important to just see them while they're still here. <laughs>